What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 smartphone by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any heating issue or not. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will really appreciate if you connect with me on my social media accounts as well. The links are given in the description below. So these are the games we got today here on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. So right now the battery percentage is 62, CPU temperature is 33 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 27. CPU is varying between 29 and 30. For this testing, we have set the refresh rate of the screen at 90 Hz and we will use the game turbo feature of Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 to play all of these games to get the best performance out of the device. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So this is the maximum volume. Redmi Note 11 comes with a studio speaker setup and the volume is a bit high so I'm going to reduce it. And now let's play the game. So for this testing, as you can see that we are using the performance mode in the game turbo. The graphics quality is quite nice, but gameplay is not super smooth, it's good for sure, but not that great. You're drowning. As you can see, graphics quality is really good and in the end, the gameplay was smoother. In the beginning, it was slightly jittered just like now, but after that, it got smoother. So as you can see that we are getting around 50 FPS on Injustice 2 here while playing it on Redmi Note 11. 45 FPS, 44 FPS, 48, 59 as well, 55. So we can consider that we will get around 50 FPS on average or 55 FPS we can say while playing Injustice 2 here on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. Sometimes very minor lagging is happening, but most of the time the gameplay is very smooth, especially the graphics quality is quite nice. And we are getting around 50 FPS as we have seen, so it's quite nice for sure. So now let's go back from here and let's have a look on the battery status. So CPU is at 50 degrees Celsius, battery is at 35, the battery percentage is 60 degrees Celsius. But the good thing is that the device is not even slightly warm, even though it is showing 43 earlier, it was showing 50 degrees Celsius. It's exactly at the same temperature at which I started playing this game. So it's quite nice here for sure. And now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of Call of Duty Mobile, by default, 
very high graphics quality is selected and frame rate is at medium if i go to high then again i'm not getting better frame rate option than the high same goes with medium and low as well and if i select the very high graphics quality and high fps then the graphics quality is going to low i cannot even select high fps and medium graphics quality you can see as soon as i'm selecting high the graphics quality is going back to low so the maximum possible graphic setting is very high graphics quality and medium frame rate so i will play the game a bit on this and after that i will also check if i select low and high graphics quality then what fps we are going to get so let's select very high graphics quality and the medium frame rate and now let's play the game Drop zone. so it's pretty smooth as you can see and also we are getting lots of detail especially if you have a look on the gun here the reflection of the light the detailing we are getting it's so good. It's too close. Fight harder. We have captured the drop zone. So you can see that the graphics quality is really nice here for sure lots of detail in everything So let's check the FPS. So we are getting 37 FPS, 60 FPS was coming as well for a very small duration, 46 FPS, 36 FPS. Once again, you can see we are getting 53 FPS, 60 FPS, and not much action is happening. But on average, we are getting around 45 to 50 FPS most of the time. Right now, it's 60 FPS, so we can consider it's pretty good because we are playing this game on the highest possible graphic setting here. Drop zone. The 
Enemy has captured the drop zone. Enemy contact. Hawk X3 deployed. Hawk X3 is ready. It's inside Tango Dome. Graphics quality is nice, gameplay is super smooth, no frame drop or lagging happened, not even firms, everything is super nice for sure here. And here we go. So as you can see that everything was nice and super smooth while playing Call of Duty Mobile on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. So I'm gonna just leave it here and let's try on the high FPS and let's see whether we are going to get any better FPS or not. So now I have selected the high FPS, low graphics setting. Let's play the game. So now the graphics quality is reduced for sure. As you can see here now on the gun, the detailing is less, but it's a bit smoother. Let's see whether we are going to get anything better or not. So 47 FPS, 60 FPS, 60 FPS. So I think now we can get the maximum FPS here. That's 60 on Call of Duty Mobile. Once again we are getting 60 fps so yes if we go to high frame rate with low graphics quality you will get 60 fps on xiaomi redmi note 11 but if you want you can also go with the high graphics quality very high graphics quality actually and the medium frame rate the gameplay will be still pretty smooth around 50 fps and with great graphics quality So I'm just going to leave it here. Let's have a look on the battery status. So CPU is at 41 degrees Celsius. Battery is at 35 and the battery percentage is 57. And now it's time to play Asphalt 9. So here in the graphics setting of Asphalt 9, you can see we have selected the high graphics quality. And now let's play the game. So 
So the graphics quality is looking quite nice. So minor lag just happened once. The graphics quality is really nice and the gameplay is quite smooth as well. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Asphalt 9 on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. So I'm going to play one more time and let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So we are getting around 43, 30 FPS now on average. So it's constantly 30 FPS, 31 FPS. So we can consider that we will get around 30 FPS here most of the time. And here we go. So even at 30 FPS the gameplay was very smooth while playing Asphalt 9 on our Redmi Note 11. So let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the battery status. CPU is still at 41, battery is at 35 and the battery percentage is at 56 now. The device is still at pretty much same temperature, no increase or warm sensation on the back panel yet. And now it's time to play the Dead Trigger 2. So this game can go as high as 120 FPS. So here in the graphic setting of Dead Trigger 2, you can see by default graphics quality is selected as ultra high and FPS is at 60. I can now go higher than that. If I go to high, still FPS is at 60. Also on low and medium, I'm not getting better than 60 FPS. So better to select the ultra high graphics quality and now let's play the game
The graphics quality is really nice for sure. Lock and load. And we were getting around 34 FPS while playing this game on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 is still at 34 FPS. So I guess on average you will get around 34-35 FPS while playing Dead Trigger 2 on Redmi Note 11. So I'm gonna leave it here as well. Let's have a look on the battery status one more time. So the CPU is at 46 degrees Celsius, battery is at 37 and the battery percentage is 55. Let's close them all and now it's time to play the last game and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile by default, smooth graphics is selected and frame rate is at medium. I can go to high frame rate. If I go to balance, then high frame rate is getting disappeared. So the maximum possible graphic setting combo is the balanced graphics quality and medium frame rate but if you want you can get high as well but you will have to go to the smooth graphics quality. So this is what I'm going to select here because for FPS games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, people usually prefer high frame rate instead of high graphics quality because it helps in the gaming experience. So now let's play the game and let's see how good it's going to be. So it's looking quite smooth here. Graphics quality is okay. We are getting 26 FPS while selecting the lowest graphics quality and high frame rate as you can see here, 25. So I guess the average is going to be 25 because it's switching between 25 and 26 only. So once again we are getting 25 fps 26 fps we are not going to get better than that because we are already at the lowest graphics quality and the maximum frame rate setting so if you select more graphics quality than that so the fps will actually go down I'm pretty noob when it comes to PUBG Mobile so you will have to bear with me a bit I'm just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device not actually about my gameplay So once again we are getting only 26 fps graphics quality is okay of course it's not going to be great because we are playing this game on a budget smartphone and someone is
So if you are a PUBG player, you might be getting the idea about the gaming capability of this device here. So not much action is happening right now. So I'm just going to leave this game here. And let's have a look on the battery status now. So right now the CPU temperature is 43 degrees Celsius, 41. And the battery temperature is 37. The battery percentage is 54. And considering the fact that we were playing all of these games for like 45 minutes, that's the duration of this video recording. The battery performance seems quite good because we were playing these games on the highest possible graphics setting using the performance mode from the game turbo and considering that the device is not warm at all, it's still at the pretty much same temperature at which we have started using the device and it's just very minor slightly warm here and I think that's because of the holding the device like this and playing it for 45 minutes. It's not because of the gameplay itself because the temperature is still at 40 degree for CPU and 37 for battery so that's quite nice for sure as well as the battery performance. And in all of these games performance of Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 was quite impressive especially if you're talking about the Call of Duty Mobile and its Fault 9 Injustice 2 we felt slight lagging now and then but it was very minor in PUBG Mobile there was no frame drop or lagging but the FPS we were getting was just 25 and in Dead Trigger 2 the gameplay was smooth graphics quality was good and there was no frame drop or lagging at all. So considering the fact that we got a very budget smartphone here in our hands, the performance of the device when it comes to gaming was quite nice. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.